Welcome. In this case study for security hardening, we look at Microsoft SQL Server 2012, and this is a CIS benchmark. So this is the front page, CIS Microsoft SQL Server 2012 benchmark, 73 pages PDF from September 30th, 2016. And we'll pick control 2.14, 2.14, which says ensure SA login account has been renamed and this is scored. Um, and the SA is a system administrator um, a username and the profile applicability is level one database engine. So this is not a level two, it's not more intense, it's a less intense, it's a level one. So in description it says, the SA account is a widely known and often widely used SQL server account with sysadmin privileges, highest privileges. Um, and the rationale is, it is more difficult to launch password guessing and brute force attacks against the SA account if the username is not known. Okay, under audit, use the following syntax to determine if the SA account is renamed, and it gives us uh, the text to type here for audit. And uh, continuing with audit, a name of SA indicates the account has not been renamed. And the remediation is given here. Replace the different user value within the below syntax and execute rename the SA uh, login. After login, SA with name is equal to, and you type in the different user, as shown in blue. And under impact, now this, this is appearing as impact. This is available, the impact field is available in certain um, of the uh, uh, benchmarks and not available in certain ones. So here it says impact. It is not a good security practice to code applications or scripts to use the SA account. However, if this has been done, renaming the SA account will prevent scripts and applications for authenticating to the database server and executing required tasks or functions. And the default value is uh, SA and the account name is SA. So what it's telling us in this, con in, in this control is that you shouldn't use the SA account. You should rename it and you should give different privilege levels and separate, if there are multiple operators, separate them um, and give them the least privilege principle. And also different applications uh, or utilities should not access the database with the SA account. You should actually change that. Okay, and uh, now we look at um, the references and it gives us the Microsoft uh, URL and this, the title is Choose an Authentication Mode. And that's all for this, uh, uh, for this controlled case study. Thank you.